All right, so we're gonna stay right here for Darius Little and BJ Futrell. Darius Little kind of thought about going 61. He in the blue singlet over in the zone right now. The Lehigh Valley Wrestling Club. BJ with the inside tie. Good footwork there by Darius, but gonna be hit for passive as BJ was really doing an excellent job cutting off the mat, keeping Little's butt to the edge. Our collar tie there. BJ moving in. This time last year, he won the Bill Farrell, beat Hunter Steber in the finals. Really doing a great job working those inside ties. Can't tell if he wanted to go Metzger there or what. Little with that lefty underhook. I think Fuchel trying to go over under body lock. And so Darius is gonna be on the shot clock. Just a minute 48 into the match. You gotta be happy with what you're seeing if you are Coach Brandon Slay, Penn RTC coach, he in the red corner. Coach Jeff Buxton in the blue corner for Little. Good head fakes and level changes by BJ, but he's not pulled the trigger. Back to the Futrell, in on the shot, driving over to the edge. It's gonna be at least one, and he did cover. Last 75 seconds of the first period. Great job by BJ there, kind of slowing down, readjusting, covering at the end to make it a two instead of a one. Little still looking for an opening. Hasn't quite found what he liked yet. BJ going left wrist control. And that's really what's impressed me is the, the mat control so far, BJ. That's why he got him on the clock so early. Forced him over into the zone. Nice elbow duck there from Little. Nothing coming of it though. Darius looks like it's just hard to get a hand on. You see BJ continuing to want to try to slow him down there with that collar tie. And that's gonna do it for the first period. So I think I'll stay on here for Hunter Steber, Mario Mason. So Coach Buxton will stay in that blue corner over there. and then try to head over to Matt B. So Nazar Kolchitsky, Dylan Ness. Uh, that one, every time I see those two matched up, I just, I always assume it's gonna be on the <laughs> quality of Brewer Garrett. It's too like to throw, put up points. But in the meantime here, let's see how BJ Futrell and Darius Little finish off. Back to that lefty collar tie. Dive there. Little clears out though. Super duck attempt. And BJ gonna run through that one right into the trap arm. This is dangerous for Darius. 6-0 now. No points are saying he didn't go back into danger. He might have to roll through the other way on it. Or he could just hang out there in a tilt position. Nothing wrong with that. There's no, there's no team scoring here. And BJ's just gonna hang out. You see him, <laughs> see him both kind of breathing heavy. Whole, uh, everybody watching the match just kind of slow and going. 
And DJ's finally, nope, nope. Thought he's going to. Trying to go into a half situation here. Power half situation. Switching off. Has little on his back. So he killed a lot of time with that. <laughs> Russ finally kind of blow him back, back up to their feet. You know, it's really hard to be mad at that if you're, if you're Coach Slay. I mean, Little's not doing anything to present any danger. He's just holding him in an exposed position. I'm A-OK -okay with it. DJ's really uh, been able to kind of force his will a little here. Really done an excellent job keeping keeping Little's butt towards the out of bounds. Moving him around with that collar tie. When he's getting the shots, turn him into body lock so we can finish. BJ not BJ not happy with the ref on that one. Forty to go. Little diving under, and he gonna be in trouble here. Gradle position, once again a trap arm. BJ thought better of it though, just gonna try and finish it off with a regular gut. Any turn will do it. And that'll be it. So right at the end there, BJ picking up the tech. And we'll be right back after this break. <laughs> 